You delivered mass killings, kidnapping, and poverty to Nigeria. She Husani mocks Buhari. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Sheikh Hussani, a former Kaduna Central Senator, has mocked President Muhammad Buhari over his comment of delivering on the change he promised Nigerians. Sani said Buhari was leaving behind 77 trillion naira debt, about 133 million Nigerians in poverty, mass killings and kidnapping amidst his claim of delivering his promised change. Speaking during the inauguration of a house and estate in Zuba, Abuja on Tuesday, Buhari said his administration delivered change to Nigerians. The president said the change was delivered in the area of affordable housing, adding that the new housing estate had addressed multidimensional poverty among Nigerians. Reacting, Sani tweeted. The tweet read thus. The president is leaving behind 77 trillion naira debts, 133 million poverty-stricken people, 25 million naira 25 million people at the risk of hunger, according to UNICEF, 10 million out-of-school children, mass killings and kidnappings on a daily basis. Yet, he said he has delivered on the change he promised. Wow. So, Buhari, they come outside, they talk, say, in do Nigeria well. Hmm. You see, those people will be saying, they come outside, they say, Buhari, try. Where then they? Because they need to come and continually to be defending him. Give this man, you know, you are the special advisor to the president on whatever matter at all. You are entitled to spoke to him, but I think a more job there is. If people communicate, oh, this person in government do they work, oh, this person in government do they work, they are supposed to look for a way to communicate it back to the government so that, I mean, most of the president, so that he's going to know how to adjust some things. But no. For every time Nigerians come out, People like Garba Shehu, people like, uh, what's their name? Oh? People like Garba Shehu, people like um, Femi Addition will always come out to defend uh, these people. Always. 77 trillion naira debts. Money will be saving no see you. They no build and build any uh, if refinery you. They no use, we know no what they use and do. That money now, if you send me then the trace and go, you know, go feed trees. I can assure you, more than half of that money, there's somewhere kept. Well, Harry is a symbol of embodiment. He's a symbol and embodiment of apathy, ignorance, and primitivism. Thank God, Bihari has ruled Nigeria and ruined Nigeria. If he never becomes the president, he thought so. APC would have continued the shenanigans and bring the bring and age, fake promises and deceit. Today we'll finish where Buhari started. The tribal baggers will be served breakfast too. Okay. All right. Recorded to become the worst leader in Nigeria ever produced and worst than Abacha with genocide recorded across Nigeria. Meanwhile, when this man was still, when he was still like he had like two years to go, if you come outside and say these things concerning him, you're gonna. Unless you want to make people come, come unless you want, you, you, won't, you won't find trouble with that. He promised us change and he delivered. He delivered it. Tribalism, division, hunger, ha hatred, poverty, debt, debt, and Boko Haram, the worst leader ever to rule Nigeria. Well, Sheikh Hussani, and this is the way he talks, not true, true. If you look around you, this is all you can see. This is exactly all you can see. And it is bad. All right, Buhari. Okay, until Nigeria stood up against APC and PDP government, Nigeria economy will continue to go down because these men are not ready to do anything positive that will impact the life of Nigerians. They are in competition with the world of a country. I did tell you. Buhari, his co politicians, APC members, and those voted, and those that voted for APC into power, are responsible for Nigerian dilemma. Dilemma. No one will go unvisited by divine judgment. Me, what I'm going to say here now is, next time, if anybody comes around and say they're going to be giving us change, I think we are going to be openly to open our mouth and access people questions. Not like this sitting, admin, I mean, not like this incoming administration. No. This incoming administration did not sell themselves to us. 
the next time anybody comes out from anywhere, we are having the election 2027. We need the person or persons or whichever political parties or candidates to come out and tell us what they stand to offer. If we are not sure, we ask questions. And the ones we know, uh, what's it called? The ones we know come outside, can't talk. We don't go even, we, this one, this mistake, we happen. Don't go happen again. Are people not saying what, I, what I'm saying? Hmm? People are becoming more vocal in their criticism. And it's because Buhari, and it is because Buhari's um, tenure is about, you know, his, his time is almost here. His time is setting on him. His time is no longer on his side. So people are becoming more vocal. Every day, with every day that goes, with every night and any dawn that comes, every morning, he gets closer to the day he's going to hand over. Hmm? Which leaves me to say, nothing lasts forever. Nigeria, when like they say they're giving a change, making an act type of change with the person they talk about. So right on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for watching and listen. And so I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.